Do you put your feet up on the table at home? Well, you said this was my home. Hi, right, Pop. Is everything OK, Dad? Oh, I don't know. The Patricks. Why don't you just tell them to go? I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. The girls I can cope with, but he's beyond me. What's this? Twisted fire stuff right over there. Yeah, he's making it clear he doesn't want to stay here. And if he's not careful, he's going to get his here, wish. Jack. So I hope you're in a better mood than before. Yeah, I'm sorry about earlier. This apology's got nothing to do with you wanting your present, is it? Do you really think I'm that shallow? Mm. Well, close your eyes. Put your hand over your eyes. <laughs> very embarrassing. Turn around. Let's go see what Santa's got in his sack. This way. This way, is it? No, come this way. Watch it, eh, Bert? It's And you, tell your old fella, if he's got something to say about me, turn sat to my face, all right? I tell you what, Sol, why don't you just say it? <sighs> come on, where's this present? Right, follow me. What, outside? Oh. Yeah. Outside in the car park? This is my present? Yeah. Isn't she lovely? I can't believe you bought this car without telling me. But it was going cheap. We're not talking about some frock you pick up in the January sales. This is the most expensive thing we've had to pay out for. It should have been a joint decision. You're not listening. It was too good a deal to refuse. Simon said that this model oh, of car... not Simon again. I'm beginning to think whatever Simon says is far more important than any comment I might have to make. It was his car. He let me have it for next to nothing. I bet he did. It's probably a wreck. Kurt, the car is fine. Maybe it's not the type of car that you would have chosen, but then the insurance money wouldn't stretch that far. I thought you'd be pleased we had a good deal. Have you seen the state of these tyres? No. Well, someone ought to tell simple Simon that he's supposed to miss the curb when he's parking. So we'll replace them. I mean, does it really matter if we have to replace a couple of them? Kurt, the car's got a sunroof, it's got a cassette player. It's no good having all the extras if the car's not safe. Safety is more important than accessories. So you don't trust my judgement, then? Well, I'm not sure if I trust you at all at the moment. Fine. Then I might as well go to the office party after all. Give you a proper reason not to trust me. Oh, and, um, by the way, don't wait up for me. I think Kurt would prefer it if I didn't drive, didn't work. Oh, and I never spoke to another guy ever again. I might as well just be chained to the kitchen sink.